All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All The Mods 8. Guys, we had a very fun live stream after our video on Friday, and we did a lot of work. Uh, if you missed that, no worries, but we set this up. I just want to talk to you here about it real quick. Uh, yeah, this is Integrated Dynamic Storage Terminal. It's a very simple early-gen uh, storage system. If you guys want to see me put it together, go ahead and check out that live stream. Uh, you should see it in the playlist in case you missed it. But anywho, we're going to be working in this area today, and I'm very excited about it because we're going to be doubling our ores with this copper ore hammer. Now, if you might be wondering how can we do that, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have an input chest, we're going to have an output chest, and then we're going to have a basin and a mechanical mixer. And with uh, Create, we are able to just pump items uh, into here and out of here uh, with just using a filter and we can utilize the doubling of the ores. So we need to look up the wrench. Perfect. And then can I have this reset? No. Okay. So all we got to do is set this to output, set this to output, and then we're going to put in this advanced pipe upgrade. It has to be a diamond one, or the, the advanced one, because this allows us to blacklist certain uh, like the raw material. So what we'll do is we will leave the copper hammer in here at all times. It will always be here. We don't need to really upgrade it or do anything like that, which is nice. Uh, and then we also have this set to blacklist it so it does not allow this to pull that out. Uh, and so if you do end up putting this in here, like a like an ore or a, like a raw ore that doesn't isn't filtered, it will pull it all the way through and put it into the chest. So that's how we avoid it. We just blacklist the ore um, and it will put it here. But now we need to work on getting the create stuff back over here. Uh, we ended up doing a lot of this on stream. We built a, a prototype over there. But what I want to do is actually we'll, we'll keep this little um, gearbox here uh, and we will just run a another one of the, the little do wiki things the shafts from here and then over so I'm gonna work on that off camera but I do want to show you we did uh, some work down here uh, they keep breaking my doors but anyway we built this staircase going down and we did set up the zombie portion that's interesting there's bugs but yeah so we now come down here and kill the blazes and the zombies and we get the materials Yeah, so then the zombies are here, looking good. And this just allows us to get uh, rotten flesh whenever we need it, and it's amazing. I highly recommend the system. Okay, so something kind of cool is we really just have like a straight shot all the way through. It goes around the stairs, it goes around all of our storage here. Uh, but what I do want to do is set up a couple of uh, gear changes. Now, we had two in the stream, and I'd actually like to uh, kind of amp that up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more shafts here, because we are going to need quite a bit more, unless I can find some. Um... Perfect. Okay, so we have enough cogwheels. We have enough of the shafts here. Um, and I was just thinking, maybe we move this over by one. Um, because one, we can. And two, this might allow us to um, set up like an auto smelter over here too, which I think would be amazing. Um, yeah, we could, we could set up an auto smelter over here. So, let's see, um, what kind of furnace would we need to do? The small electrical furnace has been amazing in the past. And it's pretty simple. Uh, we would just need to run power over to it. Now, we are generating power over here automatically, so we could just run that under the ground over to this guy. Uh, and it would, it's basically free power. So I think that's the method we're going to go. We're going to do the small electrical furnace here, which means we need to make this guy. Okay, so let's work on that small laboratory. We'll make a stack, or close to a stack of these guys. Um, and then we can make this already. And then here we go. Perfect. Okay, so small electrical furnace. Now, if I remember correctly, this is 100% directional. So we are going to need to pull these guys out uh, like, this, like this. Cool thing is the filter will still work. It won't allow certain items to come through. And then all we need to do is just set it up like this. And now this system is good to go. Um, 
Let's see here. I, I, I think we have to power it from the top, if I'm not mistaken. But we're gonna try to power it from the bottom and see if that see if it will even let us do that. So now we're just gonna run this small little cable this way. Okay, I need to make a path for it. Okay, so the good thing is we'll still utilize that uh, area. Um, let's see, energy. What is it called? Basic universal cable. Cool. Okay, so we have enough to get over here. So we're going to try from the bottom because I would like to put maybe a pipe on the top going into it if possible. I think that would look really cool. Um, let's see here. So that goes over. Is this powered? It is amazing. Okay, that is really good news. So I'm just gonna fill this in temporarily with this because there are some really cool looking pipes from Immersive Engineering that we're gonna put on top to kind of make it look like there's a steam vent. Um, but yeah, this thing is almost good to go. Let's check out that thing from Immersive Engineering. Wait, let's just look up pipe. Yeah, this guy, that's a fluid pipe. This is fluid pipe. Um, how difficult is this pressure tube? Hello? Oh, geez, that's the ghost lady. If you guys are wondering, that is a mod. It's just, it's a Halloween time in the time of recording this. I don't know if you guys know. Hang on a second. I don't want to use that hammer. We'll use this one. That's kind of inefficient, but I don't really care. Okay, so let's see here. If I place this like so and like this. Yeah, I kind of like that. I mean, it is a fluid pipe, but it looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's worry about getting this guy good to go. So we need to put a cogwheel right here. And I want to go up with the shaft because, you know, I just want to. Um, so we have to do a small one here. Has to be a small guy on top. And then we need to have a big one over here. Like this. And then, whoop, I, I have fallen. Okay, and then see we can't go we might be able to do that yeah we actually can okay so I think this is gonna be a decent um, thing I don't know um, so we need this It needs to be up and down. How do we do that? So I need one more vertical gearbox. Perfect. So we just need to lower it by one. And so if I do this, now this is going, and we go one, and then we can grab a normal gearbox. Or we'll, we'll convert it into a vertical one again. And shebang. Yeah, that is moving super fast now. Okay, so let's test it out. Um, do we have any raw ore? We got some copper. So this should be fairly quick. Okay, copper's going in. We don't have the hammer here. That's okay. Okay. So that is smelting all of our items. We're, we have just doubled our ores. That, that is literally working. Let's check and see, are we able to keep up with this kind of power usage? No, we're not. We need some kind of power generation. Um, well, we could put some blaze rods in here. Let's see, what can we do with blaze rods? Can we turn these into a block? Like a block of blaze rods.
No, I don't think so. Okay. So if we throw these guys in here, this will really ramp up. Yeah, it's slightly keep... Well, no, it's really keeping up if we do that. Okay. Hmm. We probably have to make either a couple more of these guys or... Okay, so it is going up. We're generating 85 FE per tick. It is keeping up. We might just set this to two so it's not utilizing so much power. Um, this should really be ramping up now. Yeah, so that might work. Uh, but the other, the thing is that it's working 100%. And the cool thing is, is that we can put blocks behind it, so it will look really nice. We can do this. Um, just like that and then if we want to make this look even better back here we can do this see there we go that looks amazing i like how we have these here looks really good uh, we can't really hide those but this is definitely working which i am a huge fan of um so yeah now we can just kind of load up all of the raw ore like this, well, the shards can stay. All right, and there might be a couple things that get through, like osmium we need to set a filter for. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Need to set nickel. Yeah, that's what I was referring about. Oops. If we don't set it, it'll get through. There we go. And raw silver, I don't believe we have set either, so we can do that. Cool. So this is working really, really good now, and I'm very happy about it. I'm just going to tell you. So let's go ahead and start, like, maybe beautifying the area around. I think that would be a pretty good idea. We do have some dark oak logs that we're going to build with. And, you know me, I like my dark oak logs. So. And I do think we need to do something special um, for this block. Maybe have it look a little bit more industrial. Let's see here. Um, hmm. Am I out of iron? No. Does iron make any cool blocks? It does, iron plates. This is exactly what I wanted to do. So we put this like there, and it kind of looks like it's going into something a little bit stouter than just wood. Okay, cool. So that is set up looking, looking really good this is an okay system i don't like how you have to shift click and certain things don't go back in right away uh it's a little annoying so but that's okay all right but we are definitely doubling ores it's looking great um all we got to do is just after like we go mining with these guys uh, we just you know throw them in but the thing is i want to actually upgrade these guys i found these while i was mining actually believe it or not they were in a loot crate so we are going to go ahead and upgrade them uh, I believe you just wrap iron around them. Yes. And we get a good upgrade. So, yeah, let's take these guys. And then we'll put this here. Bam. 
We'll put this here, bam, and then we can also do the same for gold. Bam and bam. Cool, so now these guys have a big upgrade to the point where we probably only need one, but we are gonna take two with us, just to be safe. So yeah, that's cool, those have been upgraded. Let's check out the quests for those real quick. Um, yes, Ooh, we got iron from that, thank you. Oh, we got gold from that, thank you. He wants us to make a diamond one now. Cool, cool, sophisticated. Hmm. Doesn't remember that we made those. That's kind of a bummer. Cool. Okay, so I do believe we have an issue here because I do want to run the the furnace as quick as we can. We're, we're actually out of power. Uh, so this guy's going to start to slow down quite a bit here, as you can see. Uh, we're, we're jumping up and down uh, a lot. So uh, we're just going to work on maybe getting another power source. Uh, and I do believe that um, we can probably go with the mechanism method of the windmills uh, just temporarily. Uh, so let's see here. Do, 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 do. Here we go. The wind generator. These guys are pretty easy to craft uh, and they produce a, a decent amount of power. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to cut off power to this guy real quick. So... Our, uh, our furnace over there isn't going to work uh, just temporarily. Um, and so we can um, build the things for this. So we're going to need a couple of the infused alloys. We're going to take some redstone. We're going to grab... Do I have some osmium here? I do. Look at all that osmium. Uh, and we're even going to take some iron. Um, I think we need to smelt up some more. Yeah. Uh, but we do have a, a fair bit of iron that we can smelt. So that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to take half a stack and put it in there. And then, let's see. Probably be good. We'll just do 10 of them. Yeah. And then we'll just do, let's see. So we need 10 of those. Oh, and we need two for each. So we probably need the full 20 in there. I'll just throw those in there as well. Yeah, I'm going to let these process up and we'll be right back. Okay, so we can go about crafting these guys up now. We've got a couple of these. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. We'll just make six of them for now. Uh, and then we should, should have the materials. There we go. They're in there. They're just playing hard to get. Okay. So one, two, three. Perfect. That is exactly what we wanted. Ooh, look, it gave us that quest. But none of the others. That's okay. And then mechanism. We will take that. And we will take that. Ooh, one, one redstone. Thank you so much for giving me the redstone. <laughs> you, what did you give me? Osmium. Thank you. I needed that. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's sleep here real quick. Okay, so I figured we could just probably put this on top here. I think we have a really good spot, actually. Um, yeah. Can we space these out by one? We can. They all work. How are we doing? Generating 55.26. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so we're going to break these blocks and then... We're gonna get power. Yay! Okay, so this one we're gonna take down a little bit. Where's my base? Where'd my base go? Yo, get out of town! We really found the exact spot. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Sorry. Commands only. There we go. <laughs> we have the slash home command. That was throwing me for a loop. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what was they just looking for? Oh, yeah. The energy cable. Universal cable. These guys. Perfection. Do slash back. Anyone on the server has access to those commands. That's so not cheating, peeps. Slash home is a amazing tool. shebank and then we break this guy this guy put this here put 
that there. Booyah! Now we are generating lots of power automatically. Alright, we'll do the max speed, you know, because we probably can. I don't actually know how much power that utilizes. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's all of them are filling up, and that's using max power. So I think we have more than enough power for that, which means this guy can just be for over here, which I like. So yeah, this will just power these guys temporarily. We might be able to put some upgrades here. Let's see. Uh, we can just do the muffling upgrade. That's kind of a bummer. But we can put upgrades on these dudes and have them take up a lot less power, which will just mean that we can make them faster. Cool. All right, so I just went ahead and changed the floor out with these Kivy tiles from Zycraft. Uh, and I like them a whole lot. We ended up using these down here at the bottom. Uh, so that's really, really cool. So yeah, but uh, went ahead and adjusted this. I don't know if I showed you guys, but we now have a bulk storage wall. We're going to do some uh, tweaking of this. We have our uh, ore doubling system. It's so good. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and today we doubled our ores. I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.